Um, I'm here to introduce Uncle Ben Harry. Uh, Uncle Ben Harry was born on Yam Island, also known as Turtleback Island in English, of the Torres Strait Islands. Um, he is a traditional owner from Yam Island. He is an elder of the Scar Tree Ministry and a panel member of the Youth Cory uh, Court in Surrey. He advises judges on the cultural issues at Cory Court. Um, Uncle Ben teaches Torres Strait Islander perspectives, culture, history, in schools across New South Wales. Please welcome Uncle Ben Harry. To hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna get it close to the mic, okay? Yeah? Um, I thank Mr. Gilade. Thank him very much. It nearly explained everything. That's making it more easy for me. And I thank you very much. <laughs> well, he's a lawyer, so I don't get that far. <laughs> well, today, like I bring the Torres Strait every year on June the third, we always celebrate with respect. Eddie, Clicky, Mori. We always respect him every year when come with the month, June the third. He born Murray Island, nineteen thirty six. And we lost him in 1992. I was sad. He's a man, an island man with a custodian of the island. As an ambassador, we all recognize him around the country with respect. So when he won the court back in 1992, in 92 when he passed away, when he won the high court this season, he had to take the lawyers all the way to Murray Island to prove about the boundary. And the boundary means them days we got no pension, no gate, nothing. The boundary is we got a plant. The coconut tree, one, and I'm going to another end, we make the boundary. All the boundary is made by trees, coconut, whatever we got to plant, even the mango tree, that's the boundary. Because I, uh, I remember back in my days, my grandfather always told me that, and it was true. And today, I still know my boundary where he saw me. When I go back to Yam, I can saw the young one, this is a boundary here. They asked me why, how oh, you know it? I said, my grandfather showed me the boundary. See the tree, the rocks, you look from one end to another end, that's the boundary. And that's why I believe what Mr. Mabo done was the truth. All the tourists fail. We also recognize that. But no one seems to say nothing. But today, yes, I believe what he said. I just, I just gotta explain like what native title is something 
I'm talking Kukurai. In Australia, even in the Torres Strait, you heard about terror analysis. A snowman land. But that wasn't true. There was people on the land. And that's the proof was the evidence say where the rocks were the boundary from a long time back. And there's something like native title means recognize Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander rights and interests, land and water, right to hunt fish and practice ceremony. Native title can be claimed in public area like public building, school, hospital. That's a public can be claimed. To claim native title, you are to have the proof of the ancestor where they've been occupied for years and years. You gotta, that's to be the proof. So till today now, I remember what my grandfather told me. That boundary been there for years and years, a long time. And today I'm 64, and if I go by, it has rocks still there. And that's my evidence there, till today. So the truth always lies in what is said in the Bible, Bible which is true. And I will make this what I what I what I don't tell you to explain what I explained today. And I think Mr. Giller for all that, he explained all that. This make it sort of for me. But I only explained at any time, that's all. But before I left home, I think I have to find something to go with it. What I'm talking about, native title, your boundary. So I went, I have a look at the Bible, then I think, I see that will really make my day today. It's all about the truth. You might have a look, Deuteronomy, page 32, seven, verses seven to nine. Don't you realize it is God, you are trekking like this. This is crazy. Don't you have any sense of reverence? Isn't this your father who created you? Who made you and gave you a place on earth? Dig into the past what happened before you were born. And your parents, what it was like before you were born. Ask 
all the world. They will tell you a thing or two. When the high God gave the nation based stake, gave them the place on earth, he put each of the people within boundaries. Under the care of divine guidance. But God Himself took charge of His people, took Jacob on His personal concern. And that's what I got when I read it, ready to leave home. I came back. I said, I better go to this Bible and get the truth out, and it's still there in the Bible. And it's been there for a while, for a long time. Deuteronomy, page 32, verses 7 to 9. And I thank you all for to come here, listen. Thank you very much. something to what you just said, please, just to finish off. If you look at the Bible that he quoted, you look at different sections, and I'm, Deuteronomy is what I've been taught, and a number of other places, it also says in the Bible that no man shall move the boundary stones of another. That's also written in the Bible. And when you talk about those boundary stones, the boundary stones are so important. And so if we can use that as well as part of the teachings and, and arguments that represent our interests, we say to them, you cannot interfere with the rules that are defined in the canon law. It's written in your Bible. You judges cannot assist a government in their legislation to remove the boundary stones of another. Otherwise, you are committing a crime against your own teachings within your own Bible and you are transgressing canon law. Thank you. Thank you.